Hello, I'm Chris Swaffer, Product Manager for Notion here at Presonus. This quick start video focuses on your score view, layout, and printing. You can view your score in a few ways, page down, page across, or in a rolling continuous view. While we are in this menu, there is also an option to view your score in concert pitch in C, or with the instruments showing their transpositions, for example, trumpet in B flat. This third option is to show octave transposing instruments in their true sounding octave, such as a guitar, glockenspiel, piccolo, etc. We've been looking at the full score so far, but you can view any of the parts you wish. Go to Score, Dynamic Parts, and select one. Any changes you make here are reflected automatically in the full score and vice versa, hence Dynamic Part. You can see that the notation font size is bigger in the parts than full score. This makes it easier to read when printed. You can change these settings in Score and then Full Score or Parts options. Here you can change page size, margins, fonts, and font sizes for all text items, as well as a number of layout options. Here is a notation size and whether you want to see the standard or jazz font. As you can see in this part, there are lots of single measure rests here, as per the full score. But this is no good for a part, as it is difficult to read, count, and page turn when performing, and would waste a lot of paper. So we can turn on multi measure rests. Go to Score, Parts Options, More, and select the minimum amount of empty bars before Notion collates them into a multi measure rest. Note this only works in the part itself, not in the full score. While we are in this dialog, we can adjust the spacing between staves and the number of measures per system. Just a note on measures per system, Notion will try to obey your request here unless there are simply too many notes to fit, in which case you can increase the page size or decrease the notation font size to fit, or just have less measures in that particular system. These are global controls for the whole document, but you can adjust layout as you go. The first way is with using breaks. Right click on a measure, then force a new page or a new system. The second is by using Notion's layout control. Show and hide the layout handles with View Show Layout Handles or Control and L on Windows, or Command and L on Mac. Here you can drag measure widths, staff or system spacing, and crescendo angles. A field in square indicates there has been a manual adjustment. Shift click to reset or right click reset. When you are done, hide the layout handles to prevent any accidental respacing as you navigate your score from this point. Before we head to print, one quick word on changing instrument. You can of course change your mind for the overall instrument, or indeed the sound library it is using, by going to score setup and clicking the settings cogwheel. But you can also change instrument mid staff. So, if for example a woodwind player is changing from flute to clarinet, or even clarinet in B flat to clarinet in A, just go to Tools, Change Instrument, or Shift I, select the new instrument, then click it into the part. The key signature will change accordingly, depending on the transposition of the instrument selected. To print, you can just print what you're looking at, with a full score or part, by going to File, Print. You can send to a printer or choose to make a PDF. If you have multiple parts to print, then just select Print Parts and type in how many copies of each part you want.
Finally, if you're exporting for Sheet Music Plus Press, then with one click, this will make an audio file and a single PDF containing full score and all parts in part order. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.